rightio guys, we're back in the shed today and I'm installing probably the most straightforward and easiest mods you can do to just about any four wheel drive. And that is of course the Adventure Kings 12 volt travel oven. And that's all there is to it, two screws. Now not only is this one of the easiest mods you can do to your four wheel drive, but it's also one of the most versatile because you can mount it in a variety of different ways to suit any setup. You can mount it from the bottom like I have here, or you can mount it from the top. But today I'm gonna to be doing something a little bit more fancy and it's gonna suit what we do here at Adventure Kings absolutely perfectly. And that is of course a nice little platform inside of the fridge compartment of the MT1 camper trailer. So the general idea of what I'm gonna try and achieve today is basically to make up a nice little platform from the support bracket inside of the fridge compartment of the MT1 here. That way this can sit nicely on top of it. And the good thing about this is it's pretty modular so you can basically change it depending on your setup. But we're gonna pretty much wing it because we've never actually attempted anything like this, but I'm sure it's gonna be super easy. I'm sure you can follow along easily as well. Okay, so the thing I've got to keep in mind with this whole setup is I need enough room for the fridge to be able to clear underneath the travel oven as it slides back in. And on the front, we need to leave at least 100 millimeters between the door of the MT1 and the front of the oven. So I've come up with a bit of a plan for how to execute this inside here. Basically, I'm gonna use a bunch of ply that we've got laying around here. I'm gonna make one side across the side here, same on this side, a back piece here, and of course the platform which the 12 volt oven is gonna sit on. So what I think I'm gonna do is mount the 12 volt oven to the bottom piece of ply, the platform itself, lift it into place, and then drill it straight into the walls that we've got hanging down here. And of course, it's gonna be reinforced with those awning brackets I mentioned earlier, so it'll be nice and strong. Okay, so we've got most of the plywood laid out now. So these two are gonna be the length sections, obviously. This is gonna be the backboard. So what I'm gonna do is pre-drill a couple of holes along the edge here, as well as the back here, then use some timber screws and screw it all together. One thing I almost forgot to do before I started putting it all together and putting it into the trailer itself was to drill a nice little hole at the back here for the quick connect plug. So make sure you do that. Okay, so I've made the base up. It fits nice and flush on each side, which is absolutely perfect. Now I'm just gonna go along and pre-drill all the holes for the wood screws. Then I'm gonna place it inside and do a final test fit and put it all together and give it a lick of paint. So now I'm gonna go ahead and mount up these awning brackets that are gonna be used to mount the entire unit to the support brackets inside of the compartment there. So basically all I'm gonna do is mount them to the side here. And this is gonna sit flush up against the support bracket and then I'm gonna bolt it straight through on either side here. There's gonna be one on each corner, of course. We're on the home stretch here. Now all we've gotta do is bolt the frame into the compartment here and sit it in place. And then we're gonna get ready to offer up the 12 volt oven and bolt it all together. Rightio, so the frame is bolted into the compartment and the oven is bolted to the base. Now the fun part comes and I might actually have to get my cameraman here to give me a hand. Just gonna to have to get him to hold this in place while I secure it with screws. Not going anywhere. Now, there's more than likely, it's highly probable that there's a lot easier way to go about this, but uh, we're not about taking shortcuts here. So, 
But now I can just open that up, chuck a couple of meat pies in there and we're good. Okay, so I'm finally done getting in inside of the hot box here. Thank goodness, because it's quite cramped in there as you can imagine. Now all I've got to do is run the actual wire from the oven itself up into the top right hand corner of the compartment and feed it down into a quick connect plug which Khan has actually been doing for me in the background. So I basically just plug it in and we're pretty much sweet. Okay, so to make things easier and so I don't have to get inside the box here again, all I've done is bend up a bit of wiring and put the terminals for the quick connect plug on here. Now I'm just gonna feed it through the top right hand corner, go around the other side, feed it through, put it all back together and plug it in, see how she goes. So the 12 volt adventure oven would be perfect to plug into a battery box or even the 12 volt control box like we've got here. But for us, we use these two plugs constantly. We've got one wired up to solar on the DC-DC charger and the other one, the camera guys are constantly plugging stuff in to charge. So I've asked Khan to wire up this permanent one here. It's all fused on the inside there, so I can just plug it in and we're good to go. Finally, I'm gonna add some corrugated tubing to the top part of the wire here, just to stop it from rubbing against the corner there. Okay, so we're finally done. The oven's in there. All the wiring works perfectly. We've tested it, it's gonna work great. Now, in hindsight, there's definitely a lot easier ways to go about this, so do it your own way and just pretty much set it up however you want for your vehicle or whatever you're putting the 12 volt oven into. Now, all I've got to do is head out to the bush or go to my local supermarket first and grab a whole bunch of frozen meat pies and test it out for good. And I'm sure there's a lot of opinions out there on the correct way to go about this, so let me have it. I'm keen to hear what you guys think, so, but please take it easy on me at the same time. <laughs>